Ladies and gentlemen, this is Joe's Classic Video Games back with another cool pinball repair video for you this evening. You're going to love this video. This is us working on a Bally Matahari pinball machine, but what we didn't know at the time, and what the customer didn't know, is it's an ultra rare prototype version of the game with a plastic play field. They only made 20 of them. So watch along and you'll be in on the secret, but neither one of us figured it out until the customer picked it up. Hope you enjoy the video. So Ronnie actually usually does the pinball machines, but we're getting pretty far behind. We get we get too many pinball repairs. And I'm kind of caught up on my arcade repairs for now. Uh, we get a lot more pinball repairs and they just take a lot longer for us to do. The arcade games we can knock out pretty quick usually. So obviously Ronnie knows more about pinballs than I do. That's why he does the pinball videos. But I'm going to put this one together and see if I can stumble my way through. Even if I uh, just get it together, it'll help out a little bit, I guess. That's the bad part about the pinball repair. Everybody always disassembles them to get them in their SUV and bring them down here. So I've got to put it all together before I can even get started. And then when they pick them up, i got to take them all apart to get them back in their SUV. So, I mean, I'm, I've, I lose about 45 minutes probably before I even get started, if you know what I mean. You know, it takes 15, 20 minutes to put it together. It's going to take me another 15, 20 minutes to take it back apart to get it in their SUV. So, anyway, today we have a Bally Matahari. The guy said it was broke. No, actually he said uh, something about a wire. I don't know about this mysterious wire, but apparently there's a wire somewhere that he claims that he fixed one time. He put the wire back on and the thing started working. I talked to him on the phone. He wanted to know how much it was going to be and you know all this and that and how long I told him it's probably not gonna be just one wire one wire leads to two wires two wires leads to three blah 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 this is bad this is bad a lot of people think it's got one little issue and it's gonna end up having several issues but hopefully I'm wrong hopefully I can set it all up hook in a wire and then we'll be playing it I don't I don't even know what wire he's talking about uh, he dropped this off last night when Ronnie was here. So I open in the mornings and Ronnie closes. That's why whenever you see a lot of the videos that Ronnie does, it's nighttime. So I usually leave about 5 and Ronnie stays a little bit later. So anyway, the guy doesn't want any cosmetics. These Matahari's always get a lot of wear right through here. This one's got some wear, but it may look really bad, but it's not really all that bad compared to a lot of them. But anyway, let me put it together so you're not looking at it upside down. How's that sound? So this is how I do it. I put the front two legs on and then I lean it down and then I'll pick up the back. And I'll put the back two legs on. These are 9 16 bolts. They're usually either 9 16 or 5 8 There's two different sizes.
too. Now we're going to lay it down. Like so. I don't know if you can see it anymore. Let's back you up. Make sure you got everything within reach. I think I'll just put those in my pocket. All right, pick it up. three. Once you get three on, it kind of holds itself. You gotta make sure you put the cord through this little notch. Let me show you. There's a little notch in the uh, body there where the cord sits down in. See it? Yeah. I've done that a few times myself. Sometimes you'll get in a hurry, forget to put the cord through there. Then you got to take the head back off of it and do it again. And we get them in sometimes for repair that are still put together. And the cord is pinched over here. So, now we got to put the head on. all my fancy camera work I'm doing. Alright, I gotta find the keys. Found the keys. Gotta take the back glass out first. sure I got everything I need. Yep. I think I'm about ready. It's 
fine. Just a little washer. A little tricky to get the first bolt lined up sometimes. There we go. We got it now. Bring you guys over here so you can see what's going on. He had a soldering iron down in there, a little Radio Shack special. This is good to see. It's got a brand new All Tech board in it, so that's good. There's the light board. Looks like this has had a little bit of work done onto it. Uh, so I might change that cap there. And here's our power supply. And I reached down and I grabbed all these wires because they were in the bottom. I gotta get all that hooked back up where it goes. It's pretty clean inside, so that's good. Somebody's obviously done some work on it because it's got that new board and looks like some stuff over here has been swapped. That's been in, put in a socket. But what always seems to happen is people just think they can just buy a brand new board and throw it in there and it's going to work. And sometimes it does, I guess. But nobody ever changes the any of the pins. So we'll see how that goes. Maybe they're fine. But sometimes they get corroded. But the guy doesn't want to spend very much money. And, you know, he kind of just wants a quick and dirty job. He doesn't want any cosmetics. He just wants us to get it to turn back on again apparently it's blowing a fuse I think he said I wasn't here when he dropped it off but Ronnie told me it was blowing a fuse well the guy said it was and there's a fuse missing so I would imagine that's the one that is blowing looks like he's got everything kind of labeled I knew where they all went but I guess this is for him he's got green ones I guess got a green sticker over there, pink sticker over here. That's pretty smart. And he's got a pink sticker where that goes. But anyway, I'm going to plug all that in and see if I can figure out anything. All right, I got everything hooked back up. I only put two bolts in the back box in case you're wondering because I got to take it back apart anyway to get it back in his. SUV if we can get it to work So I'm just going to leave all these wires kind of loose how they are because again, I got to unhook them all anyway And it looks like um, That fuse there is blown 
F4, which is a 5 amp fuse. I don't know what that goes to. Ronnie probably would. He does pinballs. I don't. So, I could just put a 5 amp fuse in there and see, and see what happens. It's probably going to blow. But I think what I'm going to do first is I'm going to lift up the play field to make sure none of the coils look like they're burn up. And we'll go from there. Well, I lifted up the play field and good thing I did. I didn't realize all this other crap was down here. That's some pretty big solder he's got there. Looks like that might be for plumbing or something. Look at that. Alrighty. Put that up front. Got a nice little cheapo Leatherman. Walmart special. Looks like he's got some of that uh, picture hanging wire for for grounds and stuff. And that looks like the right type of solder over there. Okay. Guess I should have got all that out of the back before I put the head on, but he's got a bunch of fuses. Blown, blown, blown. Probably more over there. We've got some wires. Maybe that's the famous wire he was talking about. Maybe that wire needs to be put back somewhere. I doubt it. So anyway, I don't really see. I looked a little bit. At the coils, I don't see anything that's obviously burned up. I did notice this wire here was loose. It was gone. But that wouldn't make the fuse blow. You wouldn't think. Looks like that drop target's broke. It's broke, people came off of it maybe that's getting hung up I don't, know. I don't know people I don't do pinballs this is I work on Pac-Man I do the cleaning I do the play fields I don't really see anything out of whack so I'm gonna uh, I'm going to put a 5 amp fuse in there and watch it blow and see if I can hear something lock on or something. So that's next. Alright, I've uh, changed the fuse. Let me lift up the play field on. Alright, I changed the fuse. I'm going to plug it in. I don't know if the power switch is on or off. That's why I started the video beforehand. Alright, so the fuse is probably going to blow instantly, but we want to hear if anything locks on or see if anything locks on. Okay, apparently the power switch was off. The fuse did immediately blow and nothing locked on. So, it's probably not a coil. We might have a bridge rectifier or something bad over here. That may be next. We've got to start chasing power, I guess. Well, I decided to look at the MPU over there. And I noticed we were only getting six flashes. If 
four, five, six. Doesn't do that last flash it's supposed to. So maybe that's our clue. All right, so apparently the seventh flash is for the all the coils and stuff, all the solenoids. And I checked all the coils with a meter on resistance, and they all seem to be okay. I don't know why this one is cut loose. But then I started looking at this board, solenoid board. And it looks like they've been doing some work on it. I didn't notice that originally. So I'm thinking maybe one of these transistors, not necessarily that one, but they could have put the wrong one in maybe, or one of these other transistors is bad. So I'm going to take that board out of there and uh, check all the transistors. All right, I got the board out. I tested everything. Everything seems fine. I was a little curious if that was the right one, and then it is. It's the right transistor that's supposed to be in there I checked everything out I was gonna reflow it but it looks like somebody has already done that again I'm just kind of messing around before Ronnie gets here to see if I can figure it out Ronnie would have already found the problem it's gonna be something simple I guess but yeah everything looks good so I'm going to put it back in there and I'm going to unplug the coils and put a new fuse in and see if it still blows the fuse. Just trying to narrow it down. Because each one of those coils has a diode on it. And I'm thinking one of those might be bad. So we'll see. Alright, I think I'm pretty back, much back to where I started. So I haven't burned anything up too bad so far. So, I'm going to keep checking some things. I don't, like stuff like this, I don't even know if he's got the wires. Some other guy wired this up. I don't even know if he's got the right wires going to the right thing. That could be the whole problem. Looks like he's extending these for some reason. I mean, he looked like he put them right over here. He's got them color matched. But I don't know if he's got them going to the right connector over there. So I'm going to check that out, I think. So I basically unplugged these two connectors and basically just plugged it in like this, and it was still blowing the fuse. And remember what I said earlier, that it was probably that bridge rectifier in there? I don't really know what I'm doing. I know just enough to be dangerous. So, I believe it actually is the bridge rectifier. I think it might have been a lucky guess. Let me see. You can kind of test it while it's still in there. See, see how there's three? I believe this one's bad. If I can get it. Well, I might switch hands. Look what you guys are doing to me. Just take my word for it. I know you guys want to hear the beep. Go over to this one and it's fine. So, 
I believe that is our problem. So I'm going to take that baby out of there and try to swap it. All right. Got the old one out. You can see I got the new one in. I just got to solder it in and cut off the, the leads. And then we'll put it back in there and try it again. So we got it back in, hooked up. Got every well, I guess I need to plug these back in. Why didn't y'all tell me? This time, I think I got everything hooked up. All right, we'll try it again. Hopefully, it does not blow the fuse, or I'm going to start getting frustrated. I think didn't blow the fuse. That sounds pretty good. I think we might be doing something now. Yeah, buddy. That flickering is just in the camera. The displays are actually really nice. All right. Bottom display, I think, might have a slight issue, but I'll ask him about that to see if he wants us to do anything with it. Guy acted like he was on a budget. So. He didn't want us to clean any of this up. A lot of this would clean up with a magic eraser. But remember, we got that broken wire underneath. And we've got to do something with that drop target there. So, I think I'll do that before I even try to play it. So, what's next? So here's the deal with the drop target. The old one broke. And the spring is gone. So I've got a used target I'm going to put in there so it'll kind of go with the rest of the machine. And I got a little spring here. I think it's about right for it. So I'm going to try to get that all in there. See how that goes. Alright, so I got another drop target in there. You can't even hardly tell which one I changed. Look, the guy didn't want to spend any money, okay? <laughs> yeah. Oh, and I swapped the, uh, the display. It looks like it's flickering, but it's not. So I swapped it with the credit display, and I think that's going to make it look a lot better. And I think I'm going to wipe this. I'm going to hit this with the magic eraser a little bit just to try to get some of this grime off here. And then I'm just going to tell him he's going to have to wax it. So that's what I'm going to do next. I'm hoping I can get a lot of this off here. See all that there? That all should come off with the magic eraser. So I'm not going to go crazy. I'm not even going to take any of the plastics or anything off. I'm just going to try to hit the open areas with a magic eraser. And whenever he comes and picks it up, I'll tell him he needs to wax it. Alright, I just kind of did a quick wipe down with it with a magic eraser. I think it looks a lot better. The whole thing needs to be disassembled cleaned really well and waxed and obviously it needs all new rubbers and all that but he doesn't want it well he acts like he's going to do all that himself so we'll see but I got to play it I think I'm going to go ahead and put the back glass back in it because I think I'm good back there got all my displays working so I'm going to button it all back up and then I'll play a game or two We'll see how it goes. This is what they call a player's machine. 
It doesn't look the greatest, but it's fun to play. The back one thing it's got going for it is the back glass is really nice. A lot of these on the Matahari, it's hard to find one of these with a good back glass. The all of her skin starts flaking off, and these are just bad about uh, delaminating. But this one's almost perfect. But anyway, play a quick game here. I don't want to play it too long because it, it really needs to be waxed. I put a new ball in it. Guess I'll turn off the lights. We're in the front room here, so it's not totally dark yet. I accidentally started a two player. I'm gonna take the glass back out and change those two bulbs. I didn't, well, I'm gonna change those pop bumper bulbs. I didn't notice that earlier. The guy just wanted a quick and dirty repair. So that's what he's getting. I like these bally's. Flippers are strong. They're trying to come on. I did pretty good on that one.
I don't think I have it level either. I think it's leaning to the right. That's what I'm going to say anyway. I always leave the legs how they have them because, you know, they, their floor might be uneven at home and they, they may have it set like that for a reason. He's got it on five ball. And I started a two player game, remember? Got a free game already and I still got a ball left on the one player. I don't really like five ball. I think that's a little bit too much. Well, I think everything's working really good. I gotta take it, the glass back out and fix some of those light bulbs though. But I have a shout out I wanna do before I end the video.
We got a nice letter the other day from Chip, Chip Carson. Thought they might have been coming in here, but I guess they're not. Chip Carson wrote us a nice letter. Hey guys, please accept this gift. I don't know if anybody can read that. For all you have done for me, your repair videos have taken me from total amateur to being able to read schematics and repair pinballs. Joe, I was never going to dive into arcade machines, but you have also helped me with the confidence to dive right in. Your videos are not only informative, but entertaining. Screw the haters and keep doing what you're doing. Also, keep trash talking the haters as well. If I ever get down to beautiful Rock Hill, I'd love to see your operation. And he sent us a $75 gift card for uh, Chili's. So that was really nice of him. But I like that because he thanked me. You know, most people just thank Ronnie. I don't really care. But, you know, most people need help with their pinball machines. They don't really need help with their arcade machines because they're a lot easier to work on. And you just take the, like if you got a bad board on an arcade game, you know, it's fairly simple to figure out. But anyway, thanks, Chip. That was really nice of you, and I appreciate it. And uh, if you're ever in Rock Hill, come by and see us. But I think that's going to do it for this video. I stumbled my way through this repair. I actually messed around and got it going. Uh, the solid state ones are a lot easier to work on than the EM machines. You can usually walk your way through it. If you start at the wall, you got to start at the wall. I realize I didn't start at the wall this go around, but I think it turned out pretty good considering it's not in bad shape. But anyway, that's going to do it for this one. Thanks everybody for watching. And also I want to thank the lawnmower man. There's a lawnmower man out there that keeps using our Amazon links and He's been using them for years, and we really appreciate it. Uh, we see him on there ordering carburetors and stuff all the time. So thank you, lawnmower man, whoever you are, or lawnmower lady, I don't know. But anyway, thanks everybody for watching, and we'll see you on the next one.